Welcome back to Land the House. Just got back from Lowe's where I purchased a bunch of lumber here. Actually two different stacks of it. And that's gonna be for the playhouse that I'm working on, or as Emma calls it, the castle. I'm gonna unload this real quick. And then uh, also I ordered some uh, ant poison because uh, we've had two different sets of ants get into the house. So I'm going to uh, hit the parameter of the house with that ant poison. Next day, I just wrapped up a quick review of a solar light from Bonner Technologies, and I wanna use this light in the playhouse whenever I get that built. So basically, if a solar panel is receiving sun, it is charging the unit and it won't turn on. But uh, what I can do is just, um, in the future, when it's in the playhouse, hit the on and auto button, and then put an inline switch here in the cord um, bring that down and around to the front door of the playhouse so they can just, the kids can just flip that switch and it will turn off the charging capabilities um, to the light. Now, of course, that will interrupt charging, but if I, um, I turn that switch on and then off here, it will allow it to charge. So anyway, it sounds complicated, but it won't be. This thing says not to use too much, so we'll see how it does here if I just sprinkle a little bit. I had picked five or six raspberries uh, a couple days ago and took them up and put them on the table. And then I look over and Emma is saying, yum, yum, and she ate every one of them. So we're out here in the garden to look for some more. Uh, I noticed that the plant started to wilt. I don't know if that's because of the Japanese beetle that's attacking it or uh, what's going on. Definitely don't like it though. Okay. All right, let's get one. No bug. Go away, bug. Go away. We don't like you, bug. Thank you, bug. <laughs> uh oh, poor arrow. Yeah, it's definitely that bug that's attacking it. Cause see, they're all over that leaf. And uh, that's where it's wilted. So, but let me show you what I've been doing. I got a a water bucket here, and I am just dumping these bugs into it, so they uh, hopefully won't survive. We got to put these bugs in the water. Yeah, gross. I found though, the bugs fall pretty quick into the water when you scare them. Like uh, that one there. Here's a bunch. Let's see if they'll fall. Anyway. No. Oh, oh, there they are. Okay. Okay, this is definitely a two handed job. <laughs> Ashley and Emma just went off to learn and play at the library. And so Arrow and I are about to go help a lady move some stuff out of the storage unit. It's the same lady that gave me uh, all the materials to build the workshop. And anyway, I've talked about her in the past. But I'm about to try something perhaps a little bit not smart. Uh, I'm out of uh, wasp spray and we've got a, a nest that is being built under the old compost tumbler. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but anyway, it's right in there. It's pretty good, I guess, hornets or paper wasps, whatever it is. But uh, since I'm going to be taking the garden fence from here to the other post and cutting it, um, I want to get rid of that nest before I do that this afternoon. So I'm thinking about just taking an eight foot two by four and smashing the nest. <laughs> Let me give it a try. Yeah, I don't know. This seems like an idea that I should say, hold my alcoholic beverage. Well, 
Okay, run. Well, I didn't get stung. I imagine when the rest of them come home, they're not going to be very happy. So I'll probably just leave them alone here. But I did see there were lots of raspberries ready overnight. So I may see if I can sneak over here and get a couple. Ooh, that's a big one. I'm liking this uh, raspberry growing. You basically just plant them and walk away. I'll save the rest for Emma. Man, look at all those Japanese beetles. Hateful things. Yikes. They're everywhere. Slight change of plans. My friend was cutting the lock off of her storage unit, and the friend that was with her decided it would be cool to hold the lock while using an angle grinder. Bad idea. So they're in the ER right now, and um, they're hoping to be back in a couple hours to finish up this, because they live several hours away and don't want to have to come back and do this. So, uh, yeah, don't hold the lock for somebody when they're using an angle grinder. Uh, so in the meantime, I need to drop off ram pump. I need to go to uh, the store and buy some more diapers for Aero. And then um, I also brought, um, I brought the... <laughs> you may still not care anything about this, but I brought the uh, animals for uh, the kids show. I have maybe five scenes left to film. And uh, so I might just go out to the river real quick and do that. Um, it's coming along pretty good. I've got uh, four scenes edited and, and good to go. Um, so anyway, it's fun stuff. But let's go around and do some errands before uh, helping my friend. We made it back home and it is uh, starting to rain out here, which is good because I was watering the grass again and it's just nice not to have to do that. Uh, we went down by the river and got a couple of the uh, little scenes done. But now I need to load up some ram pump parts and go back in the house um, so I can get these out, hopefully, in the next day or two. Sure is nice to have a clean shop, or cleaner shop. Uh, I was looking at the paneling I have back here that I intend on tossing out, and I thought, you know, I've got a full 8-foot sheet there. Why don't I just save that and put it on the back wall of the playhouse? Uh, so the playhouse... We'll have a big window on the front and then the two side windows. And I was thinking about just leaving the uh, two by fours exposed on those. But on the back wall, I was thinking about maybe I could put that piece up there. And um, I don't know, we could install a chalkboard or a marker board or something. Um, so it might just be nice to have one wall that is kind of finished out. And the back wall would definitely be good for that. So I may save that. but. I'm going to build shelves here in the corner that look kind of like this, except they're going to be a lot longer. So that'll have um, at least three shelves. So I've got um, this piece of uh, plywood back here, and then I've got uh, this piece and this. So I was thinking if I could make three or four that were this size right here, um, that would exist four foot. And I wonder, I may have to, I'll see whichever one is. Uh, wider, but that seemed like that would be a pretty good depth there. So if I did three or four coming down, I could store paint, electrical, and plumbing, and then just other random stuff. Okay, we just wrapped up getting my friend moved out of her storage building. So uh, we may stop by and see my parents for a minute, and then we'll head on back to the house. Last week, I dug out the ditch here at the back of the house, and it's doing very well. It's like a little river down there. But I dug it all the way around to the wheelbarrow and it sneaks around that direction. And uh, anyway, it seems to be keeping most of the water from building up against the house. Let me go see if it's uh, going all the way to the ditch or not. Looks like there's some of the red clay dirt on the road down there going down, but it's actually a whole lot less than it normally is. I'm also saying I need to go on the other side over here and uh, redig my trench, but most of the water seems to be right down here in uh, this ditch here, going on down and then crossing over the road. Uh, but definitely some still building up down there. Lately our rains seem to be this way, uh, just huge downpours that wash stuff away. 
I feel like when I first moved up here in 1998, the rains were more just a very casual light rain, kind of like it is right now. Um, but lately, the past couple years, it's just blowing in here as a downpour and uh, doing some washout. But it seems like my ditch is doing its job. Let's see how it's doing down here. Yeah, so the water is just making its way down this little trench that I dug. And then heading on down here to the ditch. And it seems to be doing quite well, like I was hoping it would. And from there, it just ducks on under the road and heads on that way. But yeah, so I made this little wooden trough years ago and it is just all filled up again. But it has made a difference over the years to keep all of this dirt and water uh, heading off into the ditch over there. I am noticing something here. The gutter at the house right here is uh, filling up and pouring over. So I wonder if it may be clogged there where it bends over. I need to check that out because uh, it shouldn't be doing that right there. It should just be pouring down here. So I wonder if maybe it's clogged. I'll have to give it a check. The rain has passed. It's the next day. I've got Arrow out here and he is loving life. Um, Ashley and Emma went off to an event and I'm taking him to the doctor here in a moment. But before the next uh, bout of rain kicks in, I wanted to climb up the ladder and see if I can find a block here in the gutter. I think my ladder's got... Man, it's kind of sketch, but anyway, let's come up here and see what's happening. Turns out it was just this small cluster of leaves that was stopping it. So now it's draining that whole gutter uh, pretty quick. So anyway, problem solved. Arrow fell asleep. So I think what I'm going to do is attempt to assemble a parallel uh, dual ram pump. I've got a test coming up where I am going to be trying uh, to find out the difference between a uh, single valve and double valve ram pump. I ran this test before, but it was not very controlled. So anyway, I got some PVC parts to uh, give a test here. Let's see where are the others. Yeah, so in there's some stuff, and then in here should uh, wrap up this little build. Well, it's not going to be the most efficient thing, but uh, the thought is three-quarter inch drive pipe comes in, splits off, goes to two half inch valves in parallel. Then we have two different uh, check valves here, and then it goes up into pressure tank and out delivery. So my assumption is when these valves start clicking, it's gonna be sending mismatched pressure waves up here, unless they are going in sync, which they might, I don't know, but I'm not expecting very much from it. I'm expecting this just not to work at all. But that is why we test things. And so um, the thought is I'll do single valve, double in series, and then double in parallel, just to see what happens. It's been a busy day. Arrow's appointment went well. It's just a typical checkup. So uh, I had ordered some more pump parts for uh, ram pumps, of course. Uh, this little valve here I usually get for about $1.50, $2, but I ordered the wrong one. I needed threads and I got uh, sockets. So I had to go to my local plumbing store and picked one up for $4. Eef. So I'm getting an order of these, about 700 of them, and I paid 16 cents a piece. Uh, so I'm about to uh, improve ram pump uh, turnaround time. Sometimes I would take uh, two or three days to ship because I'm waiting on a part to come in because I only ordered a couple at a time. Um, but that's about to change. I should have uh, enough to make hundreds and hundreds of pumps at any given time. Well, uh, now that we have this, we'll go to the house, build some pumps uh, to ship out tomorrow. This week's vlog is almost done, but I kind of want to start something. 
I think I'm going to pull down a couple of these boards up here that I can use to make the rack system for the new shelves. And then I want to put uh, this oak board and this little one up there uh, to get out of the way. And I wonder, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I know I'm bad about starting projects and then starting new projects in the middle of those projects. Uh, for instance, I'm doing a non-speaking build of Ashley's bench that's going to go at the front door. And uh, so I've got all the cuts made and now I'm doing the sanding. Uh, I need to cut that bottom piece. But anyway, so that one's kind of still in the works. But what I'm going to do real quick is put the wood up here and then I'm going to start pulling this material out and just see what kind of space I've got. Because if I go ahead and build those shelves up here, this stuff in here uh, gets off the floor and on the shelves and like all the PVC stuff and some of the stuff over here like uh, propane tank and that bucket. Um, so anyway, I'm looking forward to just doing a little bit more shop organizing here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just pull this stuff out. Decided to get rid of these couple little pieces of scrap down here and then I decided I'm gonna just get rid of uh, these pieces here. Um, they're just, I'm just not going to. But I found an extra piece of plywood, didn't know I had. It's three quarter inch and looks like it's about uh, close to two feet. So now I can make even more shelves. Maybe I could do like five in here and uh, just really store a lot of stuff. Um, so that's a pretty good plan. May just sweep that up real quick and I'll have to start this next week. Uh, tomorrow I've got an eye doctor's appointment. So I swapped from uh, hard contacts to soft contacts about two years ago. Uh, I had like terrible bloodshot red eyes all the time. Uh, it, was, it was terrible. And so I swapped over to the soft contacts and it really has been amazing. Um, more comfortable and uh, they last about two months and then I get a new pair. Whenever I first got them, I um, got a pack and they didn't uh, settle right on my eye, so they would kind of swivel off and things would be blurry. And so I got a new pack and um, they were good. But I um, had taken uh, a set of those contacts and put in my camping bag. And I, uh, I thought to myself this past month, oh, I've got one more set in my camping bag that I can get another two months out of. No, wrong one. So I've been like, just stumbling around half blind for the past couple of days and made an appointment to uh, have another eye exam and get uh, newer contacts. So uh, all that to say, I've got an eye exam tomorrow, a work meeting, and then we've got uh, stuff for the next few days. It's a big hassle. Um, that's why I didn't really get much done in this week's vlog. Uh, but I was just telling Ashley, let's try and uh, get some days of work next week so we can do something. So what I'd like to accomplish is uh, getting those shelves installed because it's been really rainy lately. And then I'm continuing to work on Ashley's uh, bench for the front door. I've been just taking like a 30 minutes to an hour on uh, Friday evenings to get that done. Uh, so it's just a, a long term video that will be uh, pretty short whenever it's actually made. Anyway. Hope you've enjoyed this content, and I will see you next week for another exciting vlog. Uh, need to get more ram pump videos done. I've just got one more that I've filmed down here, and uh, that comes out on Monday. Um, so the next two after that, I think, will be um, what happens when you use single valve, double valve in series, or double valve in parallel with this contraption. And then uh, after that will be uh, what happens if you run a pump on uh, drive pipes that are too big? So that should be exciting. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.